IIT and Automation Academy. Today we are going to talk about alarms. What are the alarms? Why we need them? And what action operator need to take whenever he sees some alarm in the screen of the scanner? And as a programmer, what you have to consider when you are programming alarms in the scanner? Let's talk about what is alarm. Alarm tells operator whenever some process is out of control, some equipment stop functioning. Alarm stop equipment and process based on how critical is alarm. Alarm protects persons, industry, equipment, and the environment. I'm going to tell you a one story and I will relate this story for the programmer what he have to consider while he's programming alarms. This is very famous story of the shepherd boy who was repeatedly tricks nearby villagers into thinking while is attacking his flock. One day it actually happens. The wall attack his flock and he start calling the people. The villagers believe that this is another false alarm and the sheep are eaten by the wolf and the wolf also eat the boy. While programming alarm you have to stop and think a while before gonna go ahead. Consider safety it's really important for you as a programmer. For anything critical we need to put an alarm there for sure but it doesn't mean that we need to put alarm for everything that is unusual. There are too many things that don't hurt the process. If you give operator too many alarms and notification then possibly they will stop looking at them properly and what will happen if something critical happen they will miss the trick and they might be not able to respond properly. So what action as an operator you have to take whenever you see some process equipment like pump, compressor or heater shut down, you have to call the respective maintenance team to sort out the issue. For example, the problem if it lies to mechanical, you have to call mechanical maintenance team. If the problem lies with instrument, you have to call instrument team to fix that issue. As an operator, you should be smart enough to recognize where is the problem and you have to call the right person at the right time. So now what are the three levels of the SCADA alarms? There's three levels. One is level one, that is for information purposes. For example, if some process uh, instrument is gonna get out of the calibration, it's gonna give you alarm for that, and that will give operator indication that that particular equipment need calibration. For level two, this is actually low to medium level warning that indicate some serious problem is gonna is gonna be expected. So it's gonna warn the operator that something is gonna happen. So for example, for for the level three, we have high level warning that indicate a very serious problem has occurred, which need immediate action from the operator. For example. This, this can be an example of the boiler where the pressure is getting too high. As an operator, you have to understand and you have to take an immediate action to sort out that issue. So that's it about the alarms. It is for those people who don't have any idea about the SCADA systems. This is very introductory lectures at the moment but we will move on to very advanced topics. And we have another video. You don't forget to watch that video that is defining how to define alarms in the SCADA. This is one of the very basics video that is already uploaded there. Don't forget to watch. That's it for now. If you like the video, press like button down there. If you want to see more videos on SCADA software or PLC and DCS, you have to subscribe this channel. We will post more and more videos regarding PLC, DCS and SCADA. Thanks for watching. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.